sorry. Um, would you mind keeping it down just a hair? Um, I'm trying to listen and it's incredibly difficult with um, your extremely loud wailing. Their sibling. How interesting. Well, I, um, I suppose that does give you a bit more merit in uh, expressing your feelings in a situation like this. Pardon me. By all means, continue. Can I at least get you a tissue or something? You are leaking everywhere. Huh. Great. No smoking either. Okay. No, thank you. I did not see the sign when I came in. And you're correct. It is not typical to be able to smoke pretty much anywhere these days. That's fine. Oh, me? Well, um, mm, I wouldn't say friend of theirs, but I certainly was present during their very last moments. Mm, so we were very intimate and close at the end. I think I got to know them quite well. Oh, I see a lot of, a lot of people in their end moments. It's a, not a job that I think most people would enjoy, but uh, I certainly have my ups and downs with it, but mostly I try to Keep it near and dear to my heart. Keeping fond memories of all of those moments. Those last very agonizing, torturous moments for them. Nurse. Oh. No. I, um, uh, well, not yet. Oh, you're right, I'm not a doctor either. Well, uh, I prefer not to necessarily talk about my work too much. It can make some people uncomfortable. So, what do you do? Interesting. Ah. Cool. No, 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 that's, um, really neat. I'd love to hear about it some other time. Oh. Uh, your sibling. I can tell you in full detail what, um, what exactly they were like in those last moments. Not too dissimilar from most cases that I see. A lot of uh, begging. Oh, certainly. A 
lots and lots of begging. Um, some bargaining. Phrases like, oh God, no, or please stop, and you don't have to do this. Oh, well, you know, those are pretty common for the cases that I see. Yeah. I mean, who knows who they're really talking to in those moments, because the brain goes a little crazy. A little haywire sometimes. But, uh, yes, your sibling was... put up a real fight. Real struggle, that one. Absolutely. I really had to just... this last moment just choked the life right out of them. It did. Oh, uh, the, their words, their last words. Um, well, I typically tell people, uh, just for comfort, that they usually mention something about uh, loving their friends and family and, um, you know, how much they loved them and all those types of things that people want to hear. But truly, that is certainly not what they do say. Oh, far from it. Far, far, far from it. Um, although, the one thing that um, many do ask for is a parent or a loved one, you know, to just get like one last nice embrace in there. But uh, that never happens. I, that turns out that most, if not all, of the um, cases that I've seen, uh, relatives are very far distant. It's truly tragic for the deceased and all. Oh. But I'm there, uh, keeping watch, taking uh, taking care of them in ways that I'm certain that. I alone could do for them outside of their family. Oh. Well, I think their, um, to answer your question, uh, I think their last words were you be, and then it just kind of trailed off. Not really sure what they were going for, but something like that. Do you, do you know anybody by that name? Me neither. But, anyway. So, were, um, were you too close then? I mean, I certainly never heard them mention you or really see any pictures. Oh. Oh, how tragic. Which means, um, you're all alone then. With your parents being and all. And now you're only last sibling. Do you have anybody around to, uh, get you through these difficult times. Hmm. Unmarried, still single. Truly, all by your lonesome. Hmm. Hmm. Have you had one of these yet? My goodness. Oh, I will say it was kind of a joy kill, as funerals can be. The food, oh, always, always amazing. Mm. 
you know. I have this theory about that. Because most of the food being made is from the um, recipes passed down from one family member to another. Each generation taking it and making it their own, making it a little bit better, a little bit more delicate, adding just a slight pinch here or a dash there of a particular ingredient, and eventually you get the most remarkable, simple recipes that are timeless and flawless and that never change after that. And this, truly this is one of those recipes. Same with um, trick potlucks. I love those recipes. So to die for. Literally. Mm. But honestly, you're really, you're really doing yourself a disservice to not try it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, that is true. I do see that, um, People often lose their appetites during these times. As for me, just the opposite. You know, my line of work can just make you so famished. And attending funerals and wakes and celebrations of life really give just a cherry on top of the ice cream. Mm. I know it's a bit odd. I don't mind so much though. I'm used to being a bit of an outcast, one would say. Or um, being rejected a lot. Oh, certainly. Sometimes when you give a lot of love, you don't get a lot of love back. It's really tragic. And even in my line of work, I give. And I give and I give and I give and each time that I do I know just full well that person the eyes that I'm looking into staring deep down into their soul are soon going to just leave and you can see it truly fascinating watching a spirit leave somebody's eyes. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Those last moments truly are something to be um, desired. Although I'm sure other people would um, disagree. Oh! This. I suppose it does seem a bit odd, but um, it's a bit of a charm bracelet. I, over the years, have collected little uh, mementos, you could say, little bits of some of the People that I've spent their past moments with. In this particular case, this piece is um, some little finger bones, some teeth, 
some of the more delicate bits of bone turned it into a bit of a charm bracelet I absolutely love the way it sounds when they clink softly together almost like they're talking to each other you can hear them whispering and all the time the memories of each and every single one come flooding back to me it's my way of um, keeping those memories close those people fresh on the mind. It's easy to forget someone when they're not around and this is a nice little way to give myself a reminder to never forget those who came before. Anyway, so no spouses, no siblings, no Oh, that's tragic. You strike me as a bit of a loner yourself. Well, what do you say that after this whole funeral is over, that you allow me to take you out to dinner. Maybe I'll just cook you dinner. Keep it small so you don't have to see as many people. How does that sound? You look truly like you're wasting away and that you are in desperate need of a good meal. How would you like that? I think you are also in need of a good friend too. What do you say? the eulogy. Well, I will stick around for that. And then we will skedaddle right out of here. You know, no sense in letting us turn into sad little saps. Agreed? Excellent. And I think I have just the thing to cheer you right up.